Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to day three of Ali Kamenova Yoga. Today we are going to go with a very traditional, extremely traditional Hatha Yoga class. The focus will be on the breath and quieting the mind because the theme is decalling and we shall be just listening, listening and honoring that calling and knowing when it is there, when that inner fire is there for us to become what we want to become. So let's get ready to flow with strength and ease. Let's begin standing tall at the front of the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down. Chin parallel to the floor. Nice deep inhalations, bringing the breath into the belly. You can even bring your hands over the belly and just feel it expanding as you inhale and feel it contracting as you exhale. And again, inhale, really bring it deep into the belly. Exhale, contracting. A few more breaths. And on the next inhalation, we're going to reach over the head. Exhale over the heart. And again, reach over the head, big breath in. Exhale down, big breath in, exhale down, inhale reaching up and now we're going to keep the back straight and the knees slightly bent, you can step them hip width apart and exhale halfway down, the back is straight, the hands are over the knees and lower down as far as you can in a forward bend of sorts if you can touch the floor do so otherwise just stay where it you feel good where it's comfortable for you where it feels right for your body inhale big and as you exhale take your right leg all the way as far back as you can Lower the right knee down and inhale, come up. As you exhale, lower down and we're going to step back into plank. Hold plank. You know, plank is the central axis of my practice and it is a big pose in Hatha Yoga as well. All right, lower the knees down and come up into cobra elbows bent shoulders back and down lengthening the back of the neck open the chest up great reach back all the way into down dog big breath in and as you exhale step your right foot forward and drop the back knee down and come up Big breath in again, exhale down, plank, pull the belly in, really squeeze your belly in, and let's drop the knees down, lower the chest to the ground, inhale, open, and exhale, downward dog. Nice breath. Look between your hands, walk your feet between your hands. Bend the knees slightly straight back and come up to standing. Big breath in. Exhale, hands over the heart. Big breath in, reaching over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the ground, step it back with the right leg, drop the right knee down and take the arms overhead. Exhale down, plank. A 
lower down onto your knees come up into cobra exhale down dog and let's take the right leg to the front left knee down come up crescent lunge reaching over the head exhale down plank hold it breathe and let's bring the knees down on the ground chest to the ground inhale cobra elbows in exhaling down dog Look between your hands, walk your feet between the hands, exhale down, inhale coming up, straight back, exhale hands over the heart, inhale reaching up, exhale forward fold, hands on the ground, right leg back, right knee down, inhale come up, exhale down, plank. really drawing the navel in strong hands spread the fingers wide open press the heels away from you inner thighs squeezing towards the midline soften the face muscles relax the face soften the gaze knees on the ground just to the floor open down dog exhale Take the right leg to the front, left knee down, inhale, crescent lunge. This is called crescent lunge. Exhale down. Plank. Knees on the ground, chest to the floor. Inhale, open. And exhale, down dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can, feet are hip width apart, spread the fingers wide open, keep the shoulders away from the ears by spinning the elbows inward. Look between your hands and let's walk the feet between the hands, exhale down. Inhale straight back and come all the way up. Sweeping the hands over. Exhale, hands over the heart. And these were our moon salutes to awaken the body and to allow the energies to flow freely. Now we're going to bring the hands behind us, hands clasping. If this is not comfortable for you, you can use a towel, grabbing a towel and holding it so that it is comfortable for you. If you can clasp, then clasp. And we're going to relax the shoulders, keep the chin parallel to the floor. Look over your right shoulder, exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Left. Inhale, center. And look up. Exhale, chin. Down. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin down. 
Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin down. Back to neutral. And we're going to inhale big. Exhale, right ear over the right shoulder. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left side. Inhale to the center. Exhale, right. Really as if you're lengthening your neck here. Back to center inhalation and last exhalation over to the left and back to center now we're gonna take a big breath in come onto your tippy toes and either stay here feel free to stay here because this is a little more advanced but if you feel up for a challenge stepping out outside of your <laughs> comfort zone then join me we're going to come on come into a little squat or a deep squat whichever one you choose go as deep as you can or as deep as you enjoy it so again big breath in hold your breath in you can even go martial arts style tss, tss, locking the breath out and going for squat which allows you to retain your energy and to focus and come up and one more time big breath in lock it out and come up great release this is for the fluidity of the joints and warming up the knees and hips and ankles you can shake it off and let's bring the right foot into if you can bring it over the knee bring it over the knee otherwise onto your calf and for complete beginners you can tap the toes on the floor and just bring your foot on the inside of your ankle if you can go a little higher go a little higher the only thing is avoid your knee don't place it is convenient to place the foot on the knee but you can push too hard on your knee so you want to avoid that either place it underneath the knee or above the knee and bring your hands over your heart for a few breaths here inhaling and focusing on the exhalation a slow and complete exhalation through the nose and again inhaling and exhaling through the nose inhaling and exhaling through the nose inhale exhale inhale and exhale and let's release now coming back to our center imagining the central axis of the body to find our balance once again you can even look at your toes spread your toes open really place all four corners of the left foot down and now of the right foot down so you're really planting the feet down shifting the weight onto your right leg now bring your other foot wherever this pose works best for you you don't have to push yourself no we're not competing with anybody there is no competition no need to strive to achieve something in particular just flow with it and feel it out feel the poses and make them pleasant it should feel good it should feel right for your body it should be pleasant whenever you have to step out of your comfort zone I, will, I tell you it's the planks in those things where we grow hands over the heart and let's breathe focusing on the drishti point a point on the floor Connecting your consciousness with that point. Focus. Inhale. Slow down the exhalation. Inhale. 
inhale slowly exhale slowly inhale slowly exhale slowly great release stepping down inhale hands over the head exhale folding forward with a straight back go as far as you can with the straight back then bend the knees and lower the hands down on the floor step it back into plank really embracing plank this is where we are stepping out of our comfort zone and embarking on a journey of strength and self-knowing learning how we perform in the face of challenges great knees on the ground and we're going from here to lower the chest down inhale cobra lifting the chest off the floor shoulders back and down elbows into the rib cage extending the tailbone down pressing all ten toes down and lengthening the back of the neck exhale lower down and you can place your left cheek on the floor exhale inhale exhale inhale coming up cobra hold your breath and exhale over to the opposite cheek inhale exhale inhale exhale big breath in and come up cobra hold and exhale to the opposite side left cheek on the ground you can bring your hands by your hips resting pose here exhale completely inhale and reach over the head with your hands lift your legs off the floor and hold here superman this is so good for your lower back hold it and lift strive here this is where you want to strive you want to reach it's a humble pose but a good pose release the hands by your hips and rest on the opposite side opposite cheek allow your shoulders to drop here let your body drop breathe big breath in exhale completely inhale superman lift you can do it lift a little higher a little higher a little higher a little higher release and rest onto the left onto the left cheek now let's exhale completely whenever you're ready inhale bend your knees and grab your ankles now this can be advanced for some of you so you're just gonna do another superman but if you can grab your ankles then come up and lift here you don't have to no no pressure but if you can enjoy it lift 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 exhale over to the opposite side as you exhale completely whenever you're ready one more bow pose inhale come up or superman 
massaging the belly on the floor here. If you can do this pose, no big deal. Great, release hands underneath the shoulders and we're gonna come out of this of this into extended puppy bow. So here you're gonna plant your hands in front of you and keep your fingers planted there. They're gonna stay where they are. With the resistance of your hands here, you're gonna sit back, booty towards your heels, and you're gonna lower the forehead down on the floor and just breathe into your back. Feel here that stretch, that release. That pleasant feeling all along your back. Breathe into it. Enjoy it. Finding the enjoyment in yoga. Great, coming up onto the knees. Now again, this is a very optional pose. Feel free to just sit in child's pose, forehead to the ground. If you're not up for this pose, if you have any injuries, just avoid it and come back to it in the future when you feel ready. This class is something you can perform quite often, a few times a week really. Uh, so we're going to bring the hands onto the lower back and just walk your elbows in and keep your knees hip width apart. You're going to extend the tailbone down, press your hips forward, keep your hips over the knees. So you're gonna keep pressing forward, keep walking the elbows in towards each other and you're gonna begin to lift the chest up towards the ceiling. We're not trying to go back, but we're actually trying to lift the heart. Lift here vigorously with joy and lifting the lower back away from your hands, away from your fingertips. Good. Resting in child's pose, you can open the knees out and lower down. I just stay in child's pose a little longer, give that Give that pampering to yourself, allow yourself to pamper yourself. Or if you can do it one more time, just do it one more time, camel pose. Walking the hands in, elbows are walking in, pressing the hips forward, big breath in and lift your heart. Breathe, slowly coming out of this and we're going to either sit onto our heels or sit again in child's pose. Give yourself what you need. If you can sit on your heels, sit on the heels. If you don't feel much here, if it's not a lot of a big stretch, then you can open the heels out and sit between your heels. Sit between the heels and feel this. Keep your knees about hip width apart and hold here. You can even lean back a little bit and see how that feels. It shouldn't feel painful or there shouldn't be any pressure anywhere. Maybe a little bit of a stretch along the quads, but that's about it. That's what we're looking for. We want to stretch the front part of the legs. If you lower down a little more, then you're going to feel it even more in the hip flexors. And that's one part we want to stretch because of really sitting all day, driving seated, sitting at a desk or, or even walking shortens our hip flexors and when we stretch them our posture is better we generally feel better great coming out of this and we're going to bring the knees together and lay back on our backs. 
just lower slowly down belly in one vertebra at a time you can hold your legs and lower yourself onto your back breathe Great, extend the left leg down on the floor and bring the right knee into your chest. Again, focusing on the breath, quieting the mind, letting the thoughts go and allowing yourself to sink into the emptiness of the mind. Feeling the body, hearing the heart, hearing the gut, hearing the intuition. All right, from here, stretch your, stretch your toes out and really flex the foot so that there is energy in the foot. And we're going to press through the heel and extend the leg out. And with the belly really contracted, lower the leg down and bring the other knee in. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, let's stretch the toes out, flex the foot, press through the heel and lower down, really firm up the belly, firm up the opposite leg, great, right knee in and now we're going to Inhale, and as you exhale, bring your forehead to the knee or towards it. And release. Opposite side. Inhale, exhale, forehead to knee. Press through the heel and lower down. And now let's bring both knees into the chest. You can rock side to side here. Let's flex both feet, hands on the ground or even hands underneath your booty. And we're going to straighten the legs and press through the heels and lower down. Pull the belly in, lower back on the floor. Lower down, yes. Bend the knees. You can even glide your heels on the floor and bring them back in. That's really activating your core and it's making it strong toning the muscles, toning the digestive organs as well. Let's extend the legs and now we're just going to pull the belly in, flatten the belly and touch the toes. Touch, 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 pull the belly in and you can Pulse just slightly here up towards the toes. If you can easily touch your toes, then just put your legs a little further back. That will, that will give you a little extra challenge. And we're finding that balance between strength and ease, enjoying every pose and also expanding, becoming stronger. Because there is nothing worse than stagnation. We are always and continuously changing. We're growing, expanding. Great. Release down. Knees bent into the chest. And let's extend the left leg on the floor. Right knee into the chest and across. Supine twist. Keep your right shoulder down and look towards your right hand and just guide your right knee across as far as your knee would go without removing the shoulder of the floor. Exhale completely here and feel the belly letting go of resistance. 
letting go. We are learning to let go of resistance and sometimes flexibility is just that. Rather than acquiring something, it's letting go of something. And oftentimes that holds true for things in our life. Oftentimes when we hear a calling, we say no, we resist. And sometimes the calling is simple. Follow your truth, follow your path, follow your highest truth. It's a feeling and oftentimes we go, no, no, I'm not ready or who am I to be that? But sometimes what we need is to learn to let go, let go of doubt, let go of resistance and flow with our truth. Inhale, coming up. You can release that leg down, pull the belly in. Good job, opposite side. Left knee in, keep your left shoulder down, look over to your left. You don't have to look at the screen and just bring your left knee over to your right as far as the knee will go and you will feel that length in the obliques. Breathe. Making a commitment to let go of that which no longer serves us. To honor our inner calling. And coming out of this now, feel free to just stay here or in child's pose or in happy baby holding your ankles or the other edges of your feet. If you feel up for the next pose, the challenge, plow, then you can bring your hands on the floor, press your hands down, lift your booty off the floor, grab your booty and lift it. Now half, half plow or half shoulder stand is just holding your booty and not lifting way too much off the floor and bringing your legs over the head. That is half and you can bring your hips a little further up almost over the shoulders and hold here. You can shimmy the shoulders. So stay at your level. It's really important to honor your body and stay at the level you're at. That way you will grow with integrity. You will honor the practice, honor your body and slowly grow as the body blossoms. Breathe. So from the back of the throat here, All right, hands on the lower back and slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time, lowering tailbone and hips on the floor. Now, pull the belly in and slowly lower the legs down. Pull, 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 pull the belly in. Great, yes, good job. Laying here for a moment. And we're going to bring the right leg up. You can grab behind the leg. If you can, if you cannot just bend the knee and grab behind the knee. If you can straighten the leg, that's great. If you need to, you can bend the left knee and place the left foot down and just breathe into the back of your leg here, stretching the hamstrings. And again, coming back to that intention of letting go here. We're working with flexibility and the capacity to let go. 
and to let go of resistance to tap into fluidity breathe focus on your exhalations with each exhalation feel how you're able to let go a little more making room for ease and fluidity and flexibility and softness great release that leg down let's bring the left leg up and pull it in softening the back of the leg breathe Softening with each exhalation a little more. Release. Bend the knees, drop them over to one side, place your top hand on the floor and come up. Great. Now we're coming up into seated. You're going to extend the legs in front of you. Look behind you, bring your hands behind you and lifting. So if you're reaching now over to the left, we're going to lift the right hip off the floor. Heels remain on the floor. Feet can drop over to the side and lower the forehead down. That is a full body twist. Opposite side. Adjusting. That is like a self-adjustment for the spine. Shall we do it one more time? Let's go. One more time. Change sides. Exhale. Inhale, come up and sit in here. You can even remove the flesh from your bum and reach forward and grab your toes. Straight back, open chest, drop the shoulders down. Let's bend the left knee, put the foot either in your calf or in your, on your upper thigh and lower down here. You can just touch the toes or lower down a little bit. Some of you are very flexible and some of you are not and both of those things are awesome. No judgment towards yourself or your capacity. We are all different and we're embracing each other's differences. Inhale, coming up, opposite side. Touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, just, just touch your calves. It's all good. We're just stretching the body and giving it a little bit of nourishment, care. Taking time to fill our cup so we can give. Coming back to the breath, listening to the breath. Release. All right. Let's bend the right knee and place it on the floor. Bring the left foot on the outside of that knee. And you're going to take your right arm up and either bring the hand to the knee or the elbow to the knee. Here we're going to look behind us in a twist and keep lengthening through the crown of the head as you exhale soften the belly and go a little deeper inhale lengthen exhale soften as you soften you will feel a little extra room to deepen that twist inhale lift exhale soften this is a very detoxing pose after the holidays great for the digestive system big breath in exhale completely and inhale come back up and we're going to change sides so here the left knee is down right knee is up left arm reaches up so opposite elbow to knee pay attention here because oftentimes 
this is a little pretzel and confusing and let's bring the right hand behind us look over your right shoulder lengthen through the crown of the head exhale soften Exhale completely. Inhale, coming back forward and you can sit in a comfortable pose here and we're gonna connect to our voice, to our throat. So inhale and exhale with a ha. But if you're doing this in the morning and you need to keep quiet, then the ha will be just a mental ha or a very quiet ha, huh? otherwise you can make it, turn it into a sound. And again, give me the deepest breath you can take. And again. let's bring the hands over the heart good job i'm very proud of you if you made it to this moment to the end of the practice you did great you accomplished the whole entire hatha yoga class you can come back to this class after this 30-day challenge very often it is a full body practice it just moves your body in each and every way opening and folding forward and twisting so come back to it as often as you desire to and let me know in the comments below how you like this class and let everybody else know how you like this class so we get a little discussion going and thank you so much for being with me here today on this beautiful day i'm very grateful for us sharing this energy and having this exchange and sharing this growth together and i will see you tomorrow with class number four don't forget to relax and to flow with strength and ease namaste